from San Francisco, California. This is the Rock and Roll Geek Show. This is the story of my rock and roll butler. Welcome to the Rock and Roll Geek Show. My name is Michael Butler. Thanks a lot for joining me. I really appreciate it. Today is Wednesday, August 23rd, 2017, and it is 5.26 p.m. when I'm recording this show. Let me take a sip of my very first Tecate of the day. I had a an Asahi beer, an Asahi uh, bottle beer, which is actually made in Canada, thanks to my friend Shaki's knowledge. Uh, I had that for lunch because I went and had sushi for lunch, but I'm taking a sip of this first Tecate of the day. Always the best. Ah, so tomorrow morning, my vacation starts, which, well, actually, it's not really a vacation the first three days. I'm going to be, I'm flying to, first I'm flying to Nashville for the Rockin' Pod Expo. I will be there tomorrow afternoon. It actually starts on Saturday, um, but I'm getting there tomorrow. I'm staying at a place called the Inn at Opryland. So if you happen to be in Nashville, look me up, friends. We'll get a beer or something. Uh, but what I did, so um, what I did is made a checklist of everything that I need. Uh, hopefully this checklist is full or is complete. Since since I forgot the seat on the kayak, I am now trying to make a checklist all the time because I got to get my shit together. So what I figured I would do was go through my checklist with you <laughs> sounds interesting eh, maybe not but maybe it is who knows all right so i'm using an app on the phone called clear it's a it's i guess it's just a basic checklist app i have several several uh checklists i have a checklist for crabbing on the kayak i have a checklist for fishing on the kayak which i did not use last time and i made a new checklist called nashville so this is everything that, I, as I remember it, I will put it on the checklist. So whether I'm driving around or something, oh, I need this, I, and I add it to the list. So here is everything that's on the list. First thing on the list is podcast bag. It is a roll-on carry-on bag containing a little Mackie four-channel mixer that I'm going to be doing the podcast with. Inside that bag is a Mackie mixer, uh, a couple of mic cords, Two SM58 mics or knockoff mics, whatever. I think they might be SM58s. I don't know. But there are two microphones. I was looking for mic stands, and I can't find my desktop mic stands. So what I did was I went on Amazon and ordered these kind that kind that I'm using in my um, studio here. I have these little spring boom stands. Uh, not boom. What do you, I don't know what you call them. They're like, they, they clamp to your desktop and they have a spring and you can move them around back and forth. They look semi pro. So I have, I'm having Amazon send me a couple of those to the hotel where I'm staying. So those should be there on Friday. So, um, I have those also in the bag is a, is a PMD is a, is a uh, what is it? A Morant PMD six, 60 mixer it's either a 660 or 650 mixer uh i'm bringing that to record onto a a compact disc flash card so the mixer i'm bringing putting two microphones in the mixer because i have a couple of people coming on i actually have three total i think and it co-host shows with me and if anybody else just happens to come on and want you know any of these c and d list um musicians who happen to be around if they want to come on the show, they can sit on the come and sit and chat. Or if anybody I see interesting <clears throat> wants to talk, I have a feeling I'm going to be sitting there staring at the wall all day, honestly, because a lot of these guys are a lot of these podcasts are bringing um, table like signs that say what their podcast is and all that stuff and real pro setups. And I'm just going to be sitting there <laughs> like an idiot, drinking tecates all day and staring at the wall. So. Uh, what else is in that bag? Well, okay, the the recorder. I'm also bringing on this check. Hold on, where's the checklist? I just lost it. Uh, so that's what's in the bag. I'm also bringing this um, Zoom H4n recorder. I'll probably record to this. I think it's a little a little bit more reliable than this Morantz. The Morantz are the are the or they used to be the broadcast standards. The news guys used to carry those around, and they you can hook two microphones to them and all that stuff, which I'm not really, probably not going to do. So, 
I record onto an external device. Most of these guys probably are going to be recording onto their laptop, which I'm not. So that's what's in the podcast bag. Okay, next on the list is binoculars, because I plan, because after uh, Nashville, I'm going to be going to Georgia and Florida. So I'm going to be bringing binoculars with me because I'm going to just be spending a lot of time in the woods. And it's, you never know when you might need some high power binoculars. My bin- binoculars are these. Um, I think their brand is Vortex. They're really good binoculars. I like them a lot. And they have a nice chest-mounted bino bag. Also on the list, fishing licenses. I'm going to need a fishing license for Tennessee because my stepfather is on the border of Tennessee and Georgia. So I'm going to need a fishing license for Tennessee, a fishing license for Georgia, which my license is good until... October for Georgia. So I don't need to renew that one. And I'm also going to need to get a fishing license for Florida because I'm going to be fishing from the kayak in Jacksonville a lot of the time, hopefully every day that I'm there. So that's what, so that's on the list. So I'm going to need three fishing licenses. I have one of them. Uh, Zoom H4N recorder, which I already have spoke about. Uh, Microphones, two SM58 mics. I'm bringing those. I need a headphone amp. That's on the list. I have this little um, Rolls four-channel headphone amp. I'm going to be bringing that. That's what I'm using right now. So I need to disconnect that and bring it. Uh, Card reader, I record to a... Is it a compact flash? I think so. So I have a, com- a card reader here. What does this Zoom use? I better look into Zoom and see what kind of card it uses. I believe it uses... I believe it uses... Uh, what? I don't know. I don't even see a card on this thing. It's been so long since I've used this Zoom. Oh, you know what? It uses a little SD card. So in that case, I'm going to need to bring... This other card reader that is a USB card reader, it takes a compact flash and a an SD card. So I'm going to bring that one instead of the uh, instead of the other one. I'll probably bring as a backup this little Ederol that I uh, bootleg shows with. Also on the list, water shoes. I have these shoes uh, when when you're on the kayak or out fishing in the water. Um, I'm guessing it's going to be very warm in Georgia and and Tennessee and Florida. So I have the, and when you're on the kayak, you have to have, you're going to get your feet wet. I can either be barefoot or I can wear shoes that, um, you know, you, when you're walking around fishing in the river, you can't really be barefoot because you're going to cut your feet all up. But I got these water shoes made by this company called Extra Tough. Uh, they actually look like Nikes or Vans skate, skateboard shoes, but they're, uh, they're made for being on boats and in the water. So I'm going to bring those uh, shorts. I never wear shorts in San Francisco because it's it's never hot, but it's I'm expecting it to be hot. I own one pair of shorts, <laughs> so I'm going to be bringing those. That's on the list. Also on the list, bathing suit. I have a bathing suit that I haven't taken out. Oh, did I? Yeah, I think I took it out when I brought when I went to see Martinez. So I have a, a bathing suit. I'll be bringing that. A dry bag, which is a a bag that. Uh, you put on the kayak or whatever, and you put all you put dry clothes in it. You roll it up or whatever you want to keep dry. Roll it up. You can go actually go underwater with it, and, and everything will stay dry. Uh, American Express and priority cards, because when I go to the airport tomorrow, which I'm going to be at the airport probably about 5 a.m. My flight leaves at 7:45, but I'm going to get there early because. I have an American Express Platinum card, and if you're a Platinum card member, which I never use this card, Brian got it for me. I, I, my credit sucks. Uh, but if you're a Platinum American Express Platinum member, you can go in the Centurion Lounge, and there is one in San Francisco, and you get to eat and drink free. So I'm booze, everything, good food. Free internet. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to bring the American Express card. That's on the list. Also, Priority Card is um, it's another thing, another club that you can go in. Priority Pass where you can eat and drink free as well. So in case in case they don't have an American Express Centurion Lounge, maybe they'll have a Priority Lounge. So I will I will bring both of those. I need to bring my laptop. Well, let me take a sip of this fine Tecate. Ah, that's good. I have an old Apple laptop. I'm going to be using that to 
uh, connect the card reader to and upload the shows. And I might have music on that as well to plug in because um, in the mixer, there's going to be two microphones and then the third channel is going to be um, a a cable running out that people can plug their phones or their iPods or computers in to run music into. So that's I'm bringing that. A hat! I need a fishing hat. I need to bring a fishing hat because keep my hair out of my eyes. Okay, I'm on my face. Auxiliary cables. Those are for the iPods or the phones or the laptop to go into the mixer. Uh, mic stands. I already told you that. I'm having those sent. Picks and stickers. A lot of these guys are bringing all kinds of merch. And I don't have any merch. But I do have some Rock and Roll Geek uh, bass picks. Which I'll be, I'll bring those and give those away to anybody who wants them. And I have some uh, Rock and Roll Geek stickers too that uh, Jasper made me a long time ago. So I'll be bringing those. And finally, I'm gonna be bringing a couple of head, couple of pairs of headphones. I I have. I'm gonna be bringing one pair of of AKG headphones. These are the ones that I, AKG K240, these are the ones that I use here that I'm using right now. And I'm going to probably bring one of these Samson ones too that I got from Mevio. So there you go. That's everything that's on my list. I'm leaving early tomorrow. I'm looking forward to not painting for 10 days. Man, man, oh man, am I looking forward to not painting for 10 days. Wow, do I need a break. (laughs) Uh, and I'm looking forward to seeing some people in Nashville. I'm going to see my friend Neil Smith, who used to be in Stevie Stiletto. Uh, hopefully, I'll see you in Nashville. If you happen to be around, I know a couple of people I'm taking out to dinner. They paid for the perks for that. Uh, three people paid for the co-host, I believe. And hopefully, if you're in, around the Nashville area, come say hi, friends. I'll uh, Tecate on me. All right. That's going to do it for me, friends. I will see you tomorrow with day 24. Five of the Dog Days of Podcast, and this day is twenty. This today is day twenty-three. I spun the iTunes wheel, and up came April Wine. This song, and the record is called "The Nature of the Beast." This song is called "Sign of the Gypsy Queen." I'll talk to you tomorrow, friends. When I get to Nashville, I'll probably do an episode when I get checked into the hotel, or maybe from the airport. We'll see. All right. Hopefully I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you, friends. Rockandrollgeek.com. Find me on the Facebook R&R Geek. Rockandrollgeek at gmail.com. Area code 706-621-ROCK. Facebook R&R Geek. Twitter R&R Geek. Instagram Rockandrollgeek. Don't ask. All right. And please keep the donations coming. I will talk to you tomorrow, friends. Darkness can help you hide Trouble's coming without control No one's staying has got a hold Hurricane at the very least In the words of the Gypsy Queen Sign of the Gypsy Queen Pack your things and leave
the sleepless town Evil seems to be everywhere Heed the spirit that brought despair Trouble's coming without control No one's staying that's got a hold It's a rock and roll geek train wreck.